Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Marbona on behalf of Ingles Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Let's take attendance real quick so we can start with the last. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Alba. <clears throat> Not present. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Ana Maria. Not present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Not present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Yes, sir. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thank you. Carla Yanet Amaya Zara. Carla Yanet. Not present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you, sir. Carla María Quintanilla Vélez. Present. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Thanks. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Thank you. Miren, miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thanks. Natalia Carolina González. Present, teacher. Thanks. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Thank you. Rena Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Rena. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Etnic Castro. Sabrina. Not present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. All right, guys, anybody that I mentioned and just got here? Teacher, ya llegué, Ana Maria. <laughs> okay, uh, just a second. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Right. Me, Daisy. Me, okay. Carla Amaya. Okay, I boy, I boy. Carla Yanet Amaya Zera. Present. Thank you. Um, who else? Daisy. Daisy, 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 Daisy. Daisy Marcela Rosales Cancura. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Rosina, Sabrina, you here? I don't know, Nick Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's get it started. Um, we're going to start with the uh, WH words, right? So let me share something with you real quick. Where are you? Here we are. Okay, so this is the screenshot I sent you guys as far as WH words, okay? So just if you remember, what is the structure for the WH questions, guys? W-H, okay. does, 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 subject, wait, wait, W-H plus, do or does, do or does, do or does. What, is, what is do or does, is it the verb or the auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, excellent, then we have, subject, subject, subject. who is the subject guys, the action or the one who does the action, the action, is the, one. the one, el que, the one who does the action. That's right. The action. Who does the action. And then we have? Verbase. Verbase. And? Complement. Complement. Excellent. And? Question mark. Question, Question mark. mark. That's right. Okay. So we're going to start by having a conversation. Give me, let's start with where. How do you say don't do trabajas? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Exactly. Um, I work. I at, work at. And the place, right? In my case, in this corporative. Perfect. Next one. Um, how do you say que haces en el trabajo? 
What do you do? What do you do at work? What do you do at work? Right? And in my case, what do you think is my answer? If you ask me, what do you do at work? What is my answer? I teach English. I teach English. That's right. Now, um, how do you say cuando enseñas inglés? When do you teach English? When do you teach English? Correct. So here, um, this is going to be my case, but you will be able to change it. For example, if you say I send reports, give me a second. I'm trying to find the Canelo's firing, but I can't find where that's <laughs> coming from. So mute it, please. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry, that's something that happens. Um, okay, I got lost. Oh, as I was telling you, when do you, if the, if the question is, what do you do at work? I send reports. How do you say, cuando mandas reportes? I when. send When do you send reports? reports? When do you send reports, right? So we're going to answer these questions in order. Vamos a contestar esas preguntas en orden. Entonces, si yo les digo, yo empaco, no sé, producto, la pregunta sería, when do you pack uh, products? Okay? So, dependiendo de la pregunta, de la respuesta anterior, así van a hacer ustedes la pregunta de when do you. It's a, it's, it's a conversation... Um, so we are using the previous answer. So we are we already have where, what, when. How do you say a qué hora empiezas a trabajar? What time? What time do you start work? Start work. Start, start, work. work. start, work. start, work. start work. Uh let, let's use what time do you start working? A qué hora empiezas a trabajar? También se puede what time do you start work? Pero es otro contexto. I start working what is the preposition for a specific time at, at. at. Mm -hmm. and then i start work at 8 p.m um let me see what question guys in this context can we have with who ¿Qué pregunta en este contexto podemos tener con who how many, how many people? How many people do you work? Con quién tú trabajas? Okay. How do you say con quién? Con quién tú trabajas, chico? Who do you work with? Who do you work uh -huh. with? Exactly. Who do you work with? Oh, you know what? Uh, nah, because I can tell you, I work with Jaime. You don't know who Jaime is. So, how do you say, a quien le reportas? Ya vemos eso. Who do you, who, who do you report? Who do you are responsible? Who do you responsible? Responsible. Who responsible to? Who do you Muy bien, who are you responsible to? Excellent. Now, in this case, I'm going to change it. La voy a cambiar solo para que no nos metamos en el to be y nos mantengamos en esto, ¿ok? So, who do you report to? I report to Elena. Right? Um, how do you... Question with how, guys. Oh, um... <laughs> How many it's, students have in your place? Place in your class? Yes. Class, class. Yeah, it could be. But let me let me ask you something. A quién se va bien y mal en el trabajo al mismo tiempo? Me, Ivania. Pasa ya. It happens. So, a eso va esta pregunta. How do you do at work? How do you do at work? Es como qué tal te va en el trabajo? Trabajo. Okay. And here you can you can answer freely. Um, I do good. I do well. For example, not so good. No tan bien, right? 
So, so I hate my super. No, I'm kidding. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> All right. So we already have um, where, what, when, what time, who, how, and we are missing why. What? ¿Por qué trabajas ahí? Why do you work here? Why, why do you uh, work there? Mm -hmm. Why do you work there? Yeah. All right. So I work there because. And here we have another sentence, right? Because I like it. Because I love teaching in my case. Because I need the job, right? Porque lo necesito. Because my friend is the boss, para lo que entraron por right? Pero hobby. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, guys, no se sientan ofendidos para lo que entraron por cuello, porque igual, siempre necesitamos conectos, right? The friend of a friend. So, we're going to be answering this question. Uh, go ahead and, um, and uh, practice them one by one. Okay, I'm gonna send the questions to the group and I want you to add, to ask and answer these questions mm -hmm. in order. Okay, las vamos a hacer en orden. So go ahead and, and um, accept the invite. We're gonna be practicing this for about 10 minutes before we get to today's topic. So there we go, groups of three, three and two people. Accept it and I will be visiting you guys. You got 10 minutes to practice. Try to keep it in English, in English. Go, 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 go. No, I llegado aún. Okay, give me a second. I already click open all rooms. Just one moment. While this is loading, mientras esto carga, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions about the activity? Mm, no. ¿Van a contestar las, van a hacer las preguntas como ustedes quieran o en orden? En orden. En orden que la orden. Hey, That's right. Okay, very good. Okay, there it goes. Go for it. You got 10 minutes, guys. Have fun answering questions. Alba, did you get the invite? Sure did. Okay, two people, two, three, three, okay. Balanced groups. Marin, Mariana, what do you do at work? I am an architect. Okay. When do you, espérame, espérame. What do you do? Pero esa de donde era trabaja. Ajá. Ah, ajá. What do you do at work? Ajá, ¿qué haces en el trabajo? I design. Okay. I design. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you design? Clothes, building. I design, <laughs> I design Store. stores, interior design of stores. Nice. Keep it up. And you, okay. Daisy? What about you, uh, Hector? I coordinate of traffic on board. I coordinate, coordinate, coordinate uh -huh. border traffic. Border traffic, okay. Mm -hmm. I coordinate border traffic. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, le voy a preguntar la otra. When do you, when do you, uh, no, what time do you start working? Ajá, uh -huh. nos saltamos la otra. So if he said, I coordinate uh, borders traffic, you're going to repeat, when do you coordinate when? border traffic? When do you coordinate? Y lo cual, cualquier cosa que él dijo antes, border okay. traffic. I border coordinate traffic. border traffic on Mondays, every day, right? Okay. 
When do you coordinate? Coordinate? Tra coordinate? Border traffic. Traffic. Border traffic. Border traffic. Mm -hmm. Hector. I coordinate border traffic every day. Fantastic. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo sería? Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, lo que se hace. I create the purchase order. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, the follow-up question to that one. When do you, and you repeat what she said. Create. Create. Uh -huh. So this is a follow-up question, guys. Esa de when, van a preguntar en base a lo que Carla dijo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When do you... eh, Carla, repite lo que, sí, lo que dijo. <laughs> I create the pur purchase, purchase order. Purchase mm -hmm. order. Okay, entonces ya. When do you... Create purchase order. Correct. When? Ah, oh. some or, my step. Purchase or orders. Uh -huh. So in this case, uh, you are going to answer, hey, Carlivania. Uh -huh. I create purchase orders. So recuerda que en la pregunta está la respuesta. La respuesta está la pregunta. Ah, okay. Y tú dices cuándo? On Mondays, on Wednesday mornings, every day, on Fridays, y así vas. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good job. Let me check another group. Any question? Let me know. Uh, no. All right. La digitada. <laughs> Tenemos que ponerlas. Eh... Alrighty, guys. I need to hear you. Next, what time did you start working? I uh, I type reports in the morning. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, what time do you start working? What time do you start working? I start working at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Uh -huh. 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time do you start working? Uh -huh. I... I start working at... Y la hora que entras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Yes. Um, Next, who do report to? Who do report to? Who do you? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Me comí el yo, tenía hambre. Who do you report to? I report to. Y hay que poner el nombre a quien vamos a reportar. Yeah. Great job, guys. Any question, you let me know. Okay. okay. You're doing great. Uh -huh. Next. Okay. When do you? No sé si está correcto. When do you be? No. When do you? Mm. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell me, Carla. Um, respetando la estructura de las WH questions. Mm -hmm. Otra vez me volví a confundir. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, when do you teach English? Yo quiero hacerle una pregunta a Miriam. Por ejemplo, <laughs> ella nos comenta que es, o sea, es psicóloga. Pero uh -huh. um, para preguntarle dónde, o sea, utilizarla, when, no sé cómo estructurarla porque no o sea, no lo escucho correcto y sé que no está correcto porque no va un verbo preguntarle, when do you psychology? Ah, okay, I got you. Um, the thing is that it really depends on the answer. 
Whenever you say, what do you do? Um, ok, vamos a dibujar una línea aquí. ¿Se puede decir, uh -huh. what do you do? ¿Qué haces? Uh -huh. Y tú dices tu profesión, right? O tu ocupación. I'm an English uh -huh. teacher. I am. Ocupamos el to be. Pero, como dice, what do you do at work? Te está preguntando como, ¿qué actividades haces en el trabajo? Entonces, ahí tú deberías de meter una actividad. Por ejemplo, Miriam, um, ¿qué haces tú ah, en el trabajo? Ya. Una actividad que tú hagas normalmente. I, I am check report the person. Ok, muy bien. Ahí tenemos el I am y luego check. Tenemos dos verbos. Okay. Yes. Entonces, tú puedes decir uh, I check. Um, y ahí, ahí, ahí va tu verbo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I check. Mm -hmm. Uh, people's report People's report uh -huh. Entonces, yeah. como ustedes ya tienen ese I check people re People's, el apóstrofe y ese People's report En la siguiente pregunta Tú vas a ocupar los mismos verbos So, okay. when do you Check, check people's report, report? Uh -huh. People report uh, uh -huh. okay. did, I, did I answer your question? ¿Te contestó la pregunta? Yes, thank right. you. Uh -huh. Let me let me see okay. you putting it in practice. Okay. This is when do you check people reports? People's report. Mm -hmm. People reports. Y ahí Miriam, tú vas a ocupar la misma estructura que que, es, que ocupaste antes. I check people report. People report. Y luego tú dices cuándo. On Mondays, in the mornings, every day, y va tu estructura de tiempo. Saturday. Ok, eso sería todos los sábados. Yes. Eso sería on Saturdays. On y le pones la on S Saturday. porque son todos. Uh -huh. Ok. Muy bien, muy bien, Miriam. Y muy bien todos ustedes. Ve veo que José está haciendo el así, o sea que está captando. También, Carla, muy bien por desglosarlo. Muy bien. All right. Okay. Quiero, ver, quiero que le hagan esa pregunta antes de pasarme a otro grupo. Eso de, what do you do at work? Démosle, Miriam, con tocho. Okay. Uh -huh. Ask Miriam, what do you do at work? Ok. Eh, Carla, what do you do at work? Um, 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 on Answer the mm -hmm. telephone. Good. ¿Y el sujeto? Uh, sería I am. Uh, I answer. Lo que pasa es I, que el, el am es um, otro verbo. Acuérdate que es el to be. Entonces va sí. lo mismo. A sujeto, Exacto. verbo, sí. ya sea to be o cualquier otro. Y tu complemento. Ok, mm -hmm. sería I answer the telephone. The phone, más natural. I answer the phone. The phone. Mm -hmm. Ok. I answer the phone. Great. ¿Cuándo contestas el teléfono? When do you uh, uh -huh. answer the phone? Great. Ahí vamos. Muy bien. Ya ven. Excellent. I every day. Repetís lo mismo. I answer the phone. I answer the phone uh -huh. every day. Correct. Now, <risa> quiero hacer una separación. Sí puedes decir de un solo every day. Está muy bien, bien natural. Pero para que tú okay. practiques la estructura, puedes volverlo a repetir. Right. Any, any question, guys? No question, teacher. No? All right, no let me check another one. Estamos. Estamos. Great. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I I need you, I need you. Primero tiene uh, que, ten, mire la estructura, why do you work there? De ahí es uh, la respuesta, va con el, I, I work, work there, okay. Ajá, I work okay. there because, work porque there. why, el because, porque uh -huh. why, because, y ahí pues, dice, I need the job, uh -huh. como me dijo. <laughs> Ajá, tienes razón, ok, I need, I need the job. Uh -huh. Te lo tiene que, ah, diga la, la completa. Sería, I work there because I need that. I, perdón. I work there because I need a job. Excellent. Yes. Para ya terminamos de nuevo. Hoy volvemos. Okay.
Ok. Inicio, por Y Alba no está, ya rato, no, no, de, ¿Alba? no sé qué me habrá pasado con ella, porque desde que entramos no ha hablado. Continue. Ok. Where do you work? I work at Grupo GD. What do you work, what do you do at work? I develop mobile apps. Okay. What time do you start working? I start working at 7 a.m. Nice. Woo. You don't need me here. Great job, guys. Any question, let me know. Let me check another group. Fantastic. Okay. I climbing badminton. Hello, Rene. Hey. <laughs> Good. It is going to be I train badminton. Train. Okay, I train. Mm -hmm. Training. Train. Just train. train. The thing is this. Ah. Training is entrenamiento. Es un noun. Ah. Yeah? Es nombre de la acción. Mm -hmm. so, train es el verbo. Train. Mm -hmm. ah. Y también train, train, signi train significa también train. Train. Ajá, pero como aquí es <ríe> verbo, es entrenar. Ok. okay. I train. Entonces hay train, barminton, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Me toca, ¿verdad? Sí. Bien, yeah, yeah. eh, When do you quake in board? Es, teacher, y ahí tengo una duda. Cuando es cuando dice when es, o sea, cuando puedo decir I create invoices all day. Yes. <laughs> o no sé. Bien. Yes. Remember ah, that when okay. is a time expression, right? But not a specific ah. time. So you can say on Mondays, every day. Oh. Now, if you say ah, what okay. time is I create invoice yes. at 6 p.m., for example. Ah, mm -hmm. ah Okay. Entonces, I create invoices all day. And what time do no. you start working, René? I start working at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Nice. Uh, what do no. what do report? Kuru, who are you? Kuru, Kuru. Kuru report. Mm -hmm. Is who do you or who do report to? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Report. Okay. I report to Kathy. Nice. Great job, guys. You don't need me here. I'll check another group. Any question? Let me know. No. No. Contestado eso, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Count out, uh -huh. pero ya la tres como que ya no la podríamos sí. adaptar. Es que, ajá. No sé si... O, o, o la tercera yo creo una... que es independiente, no sé. No sé. Ajá. Teacher, tenemos una pregunta. Estábamos viendo con la pregunta dos. What do you do at work? Uh -huh. Recuerdo que ayer es, vimos esa pregunta y usted nos contestó, I teach English. Oh, I am not English. Um, yes. But the thing mm -hmm. is this. If you say, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? Es una pregunta muy diferente a ¿Qué haces en el trabajo? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, in these particular cases, what do you do at work? So you have to mention the activity you do at work. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pues teníamos okay. esa duda porque de ahí no sabíamos si lo adaptábamos así, no sabíamos cómo íbamos a formular la tercera, pero ya no. Correcto. Claro. Gracias. ¿Qué es lo eso? ¿You finished already? Yes. Then try yes. again. Practice makes perfect, girls. Okay. Ok, Katherine. Where do you, where do you work? I work at Super Repuestos. What do you do at work? 
I make financial reports. Reports. The stress is in the O, oh, report. When do you make, when do you make report? I make from the end of each month. I make reports at the end. I, I make reports at the end. Okay. I make reports at the end of each month. Uh -huh. Of each. Each. Mm -hmm. Great. Of each month. Okay. What time do you start working? I start working at 8 a.m. Who do you report to? Así era la pregunta. I report to... <clears throat> sí? Yep. I report to Cindy. How do you... How do you do at work? I do well. Very excited. What, <laughs> what do you work <laughs> there? <laughs> I work there because I like it and I need the job. <laughs> <laughs> now switch. Okay. Now you ask Sabrina. We have like okay. 30 seconds. Go, go. Sabrina, where do you work? <laughs> I work in History de Armas. At, what do at. you... At, I work at Registro de Armas. Mm -hmm. What do you do at work? I make documents. When do you make documents? All right, guys. So we are all back, or almost all of us. I need a volunteer, please. Volunteer couple. Al que más le cueste. Dámosle. Me, teacher. Who, who said me, teacher? Naftalia? Yes. Se lo ganó, se lo ganó. Okay, Nafta, go for it. Okay. Who's, who's uh, your partner? Not me, Fernando. All right, Fernando. And the, mm, wait. Tenía dos personas antes. Creo que Sabrina and somebody else. So, uh, sorry, Fer, but Sabrina okay. spoke first. Nafta and Sabrina, go for it. Um, okay. Aunque okay. no iba con Sabrina, pero no hay problema, I ¿no? No, that's exactly okay. why I'm Ah, doing. yeah. Por eso. Okay. Ajá, <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. no, Natalia, where do you work, Natalia? I work at Roberto Salazar. What do you do at work? I supervise project. When do you supervise project? I supervise project every day. What time do you start working? I start working at 7 a.m. Okay. Who do you report to? I report to project manager. How do you do at work? I do, I do well. What do you work there? I work there because I need that job. <laughs> okay. All right. Fantastic. Good job. Now, Nafta, ask Sabrina. <clears throat> no. Dele. Ahorita, espérenme que me... Ahorita, ahorita. Que no tengo todos los... Ahí está. Sabrina, eh, uh, where do you work? I work at Registro de Armas. What do you do at work? I make documents. What time do you start working? I start working at 7.30 a.m. 
do, do report to? Who are you? Who do report to? Who are you? Who are you? Who do you report to? Okay, no, no, no. I report to Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you do at work? Sorry. Hola. How do you do at work? Hola. 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 Okay, I think Hola. Sabrina is having internet issues. So let me stop you okay. right there, guys. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Now, um, si ustedes se fijan, Sabrina no trabajó con Natalia. Y lo pudo hacer excelente. Okay, so this is the point, guys. Um, si ustedes tienen problemas con las estructuras, simplemente hagan oraciones completas y le van cambiando nada más el, el complemento. Okay. Eso les va a dar un montón de ventaja y lo van a repetir tantas veces que la estructura se les va a quedar sin ni siquiera estar pensando en el orden. ¿Ok? So, necesito que ustedes se acostumbren a tomar estructura e ir cambiando ciertos detallitos. Sean pro, eh, proactivos en eso. ¿Ok? Y les prometo que les va a ayudar mucho. Estuvo mucho no. mejor que ayer, ¿no? Right? Sí. Porque vi que yes. todos lo estuvieron haciendo yes. perfecto y por eso es que decidí tomarme tiempo de esta clase. Porque el tema de ayer. Guys, uh, déjenme mencionarles mi compromiso a que ustedes puedan dominar los temas y no solo, no solo me los voy saltando. O sea, sí tengo que, como que cumplir con la carta didáctica, pero también es mi compromiso con ustedes a que puedan ocupar las cosas, no solamente pasar los temas porque sí. So, guys, good job. I liked it. Um, any question, let me know. Practice makes perfect. You can also contact me. Me pueden contactar. Ahora una persona de este grupo me contactó. Le expliqué las cosas. Y pues creo que me entendió. ¿Verdad? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Great. So, let's go ahead and continue, guys. And um, we're going to start with today's topic. We're going to do it in, uh, not quick, but here we are. Do this. Go ahead and ah, never mind, guys. Do not use your book, okay? Do not use your book. Repeat after me. No ocupen el libro. No van a ser tan All right, everybody. Repeat after me, please. I will be able to. I will be, I will able, be able, able to, to describe past networking experiences. Describe experience in business events. In Did you enjoy the seminar? And you did you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the seminar? seminar? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I, did. Did. I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. A lot. Tell me more. Tell me, more. Tell, me more. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I updated my networking skills. Networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, <laughs> did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I, did. I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Easy or difficult? Uh, so, so. so, so it's for you to get used to it. Now, let's do it again. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy, Did you enjoy, enjoy the, the seminar? seminar? Yes, I learned a lot. Yes, yes. I did. Yes. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Yes, I learned a lot. 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 Tell me more. Teacher, no se pronuncia like this. 
como no sé si se pronuncia, pero como va linkeado, eh, le cae encima. Learn the. Learn the lot. I updated my networks. I updated my networking skills. I am dating my networking skills. Networking skills. Networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Yes, I, yes, I did. did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. 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 So, let me explain to you this real quick, guys. Si ustedes se fijan, no les tengo mucho, mucho cariño en esto. Voy con todo, right? Porque así es como lo tienen que aprender. Now, my recommendation is this. Ocupen conversaciones como estas. Y no se preocupen tanto por el grammar al principio. Solo traten de replicarlo, de hacerlo idéntico como lo escuchan. Así ustedes de un solo van a estar aprendiendo linking words, van a estar aprendiendo estructura sin pensarlo. So, háganse un ejercicio de estos todos los días, vean un video, canten, lo que sea, pero eso tiene que ser diario. ¿Ok? Así ustedes van puliendo su oído y su pronunciación. No lo lean en la mente. No, nah, yo puedo hablar bien chivo, abu. pero ya cuando lo quieren sacar, ahí es donde los músculos no van a poder hacer los fonemas. Así que sáquenlo, hablen en el espejo y vean cómo mueven la boca. Esto va para todos los días. Listening and pronunciation tiene que ser diario, igual que el vocabulario. Like going to the gym. All right? So, um, guys, <clears throat> ah, digo, <clears throat> like Claudia. Um, what is the structure for a yes, no question, guys? In simple present. ¿Cuál es la estructura de yes, no para simple present? There are two. Do or do does. Or do or does. Do or does. Uh -huh. does. Base as subject. Subject. Not subject. Subject. Verbs. Verb base. Verb base. Complement. Right? Okay. Complement. So, siempre les menciono que la estructura se va repitiendo. Una vez manejen unas, las manejan todas. What is the answer for this question? Yes, I did. In this case, yes, I did. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. So, si ustedes ya manejan la pregunta en simple present, la pueden hacer en simple past. Look at this one. Did you enjoy the seminar? What is the only difference? What is the única diferencia? El auxiliar. El auxiliar. Did. Her auxiliar. Mm -hmm. So, did. ¿cuál es el pasado de do? Did. 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 Ahí está. Es lo mismo. Es lo único que cambia. Si ya pueden hacer el simple present, pueden con eso. Now, according to the answer, what, is, what do you think is the affirmative here? Yes, I do or yes, I yes. did? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ah, porque es en pasado, ¿no? And what about the negative? Yes, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ahí está. Eso es todo, guys. Si ustedes manejan la estructura en simple past, en simple present, la manejan en simple past. Amor, alcanzamos mis lentes, por favor. ¿Está claro? ¿Es it clear? Yes. Ok, yes, perfect. Yes. Now, let's go to the next thing. Didn't. Didn't. Here. What is the structure for the affirmative sentences in simple present? Subject. Subject. Uh, verb. Verb, base. verb base and uh -huh. complement. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Here, I updated my networking skills. What is the only difference? Is verb in verb. 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 Verb.
Eso es todo. Ok. Now, let's pretend that it's negative. What is the structure in simple present for negative? Subject. Plus, In In present, sería? Not. Oh, in... Don't. 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 Or don't. Doesn't, Doesn't. right? Doesn't. Plus. Verb. Plus verb. verb. Oh, verb base. Compliment. Plus complement. Plus complement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, ¿cuál creen que es la única diferencia? El auxiliar. El auxiliar. Didn't. Didn't. And verb. Didn't. And that's it. Now, if you pay attention, we do not use third person anymore. Vamos a poner did is in, right? No lleva ese. So, and the verb is going to continue in the base form. So, one more time, guys. En la pregunta, no sé si ven si lo estoy, que lo estoy highlighting, que lo estoy como eh, sombreando. ¿Se ve eso? ¿Lo ven ustedes? Yes. ¿O solo lo veo yo? Yes, yes. 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 lo vemos. So, the only difference is that you go from do to did. ¿Verdad? Solo pasan de do a did. Eso es todo. Aquí el verbo, como no tiene auxiliar, el verbo pasa de la base al pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos trabajando en pasado, ¿verdad? Y es simple. Presente simple, pasado simple. Y en la negativa, ¿cuál es la única diferencia? ¿Cuál es la única diferencia? Auxiliar. auxiliar. Mm -hmm. sí. Exactly. Auxiliar. Now, this is very important, guys. Why do you think the verb is in base? ¿Por qué creen que el verbo está en base? Because the auxiliary is already in past. Okay? So, si queremos irnos más técnicos, si ustedes se fijan, tenemos el did, ya está en pasado, ya no necesitamos más nada. El verbo va base. ¿Ok? Didn't. Verbo base. Ese es un tip, guys, que les estoy dando. So, tienen dos para aprenderse simple past. La misma estructura de, de presente simple, solo que en pasado. Y el otro es, si ya tenemos el didn't, como ya está en pasado, el verbo va en base. Anótenlo. Si ya tenemos el didn't, como ya está en pasado, el verbo va en base. All right. Any question with this, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. ¿Puedo dar ejemplos? Claro, ya casi. Now, um, guys, yo no sé cómo ocupar el pasado. ¿Alguien me puede dar una recomendación de cómo lo puedo hacer? YouTube. Sí. <laughs> yes. Y de lo que acabo de... Hey, guys, ¿cómo ocupamos el simple pass? YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I mean, that was clever. Pero no es lo que estoy buscando. Deme consejos de cómo prenderme el pasado. Estoy buscando que ustedes parafraseen lo que yo les dije, por cierto. Alguien deme consejos. Doctor. In the question, you change the auxiliary to for did. Ah, okay. In the question, you change the auxiliary. Same on the simple present. Only change mm -hmm. auxiliary verb do for by here. Uh huh. Only. <laughs> okay. And what happens if I have didn't? The verb is in base or in past? In past. It's in base. Base. In base. In base. Why? Did is past. Because did is in past already. Guys, denle un poquito de, 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 de coco a esto. Traten de memorizarse estas cosas para que siempre les caiga el 20. So, let's go ahead and move on. We are not going... Okay. Guys, let me ask you something based on this. Did... Did did Louis enjoy the seminar? Did 
Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Did he learn a lot? Yes. Yes, he did. He did. Okay. Yes. yes, he did. He did. Did Louis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. did or no, he yes, didn't. Yes, he did. Yes, okay. He did. did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did. 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 Okay, so let's analyze it. Did subject verb complement. Vamos? Yes. All right. Great. This is, oh my God, ni modo se fue. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to copy it. So um, let's go ahead and start with the structure. Repeat after me, please. How to use simple past sentences. How to use, how to use simple, simple past sentences. sentences. And yes, no questions. And yes, 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 no, yes questions. no questions. I learned a lot. 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 Subject, verb in past, I. compliment. Okay, next one. I updated my networking skills. I, I updated, updated my networking, networking skills. skills. What is the structure, guys? Subject. 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 Pass. Verb pass. Verb pass. Verb pass. Compliment. 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 Repeat after me, please. I exchanged business cards. I exchanged business cards. What is the structure? That is correct. Louis didn't attend the seminar. Louis didn't attend the seminar. Seminar. Structure. Actually, wait, follow the red dot, guys. See in the red dot. Para que todos vayamos en lo mismo. No se me adelanten o atrás. What is this? Auxiliary dating. There's a mistake here. They are. Right? Tiene que ser uno de los dos, pero no se puede. El uno. No funciona. Attend the seminar. Next one. Louis didn't exchange business cards. Louis, 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 didn't change business cards. What is this? Subject. 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 Subject did you make new contacts? You made new contacts. You made new contacts. What's this? Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Wait. Object. Pay, Pay attention to the screen, guys. Come on. Ah, como las... <clears throat> como el desmadre de Wall Street. Hold it. Hold it. So, we got... Auxiliary did. Nice. Auxiliary. Base. 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 Compliment. Compliment. Ah, we're talking. Compliment. Great. Next one. Did Janet update her networking skills? Did Janet update her 
the Subject. Complement. So, um, we pretty much, guys, <clears throat> don't have this structure. Okay. Um, en español nos comemos mucho el sujeto. Yeah. Ahí dijéramos, por ejemplo, <coughs> cambié tarjetas de negocio, business cards, de presentación. No decimos yo cambié. So, por eso es muy importante que sigan la estructura. Ok. Now, si ustedes pueden ver, se repite una y otra vez, ¿no? Sí. Entonces, eso es lo que tienen que seguir. Now, what is the answer for this question? What is the affirmative answer for these guys? Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I do. I did. Yes, 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 I did. Negative? Or no, I don't. No, I, no, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. No, I, I didn't. didn't. That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And the negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's right. Me comí el sujeto aquí, así que lo voy a poner. Algo así no puedo ir <laughs> Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, yes she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Or? No, she didn't. 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 That's right. So, <clears throat> simple, right? Simple, no? No dije que fácil, but simple. So, do you guys have any question with the structure? Okay, now, <clears throat> sorry guys. When do we use simple past? When do we do simple past? When do simple we use past? simple past? Simple past describes past events. events. Past events. Past events, that's right. Past, past events. Events. Mm -hmm. events. Events. Past events. events. Past Correct. Events. Events. So we use simple past to talk about past events. When do we use simple past? We use simple, we use simple we past simple to talk past about past past events. Past, past events. Past now, events. give me examples of uh, phrases. Right? For example, if we're going to talk about the future, we know that tomorrow is a phrase for future, right? What about the phrases for past? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Last what day. That last day is yesterday. Mm -hmm. Last week. Oh. Last, last, uh, last week. Last week. Last El mes pasado. Uh, year. Last yeah. month. Last month. Mm -hmm. Last hour. Mm -hmm. uh, ya, ya vamos a llegar a esa. Last, last month. Last El año pasado. Last, last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Oops. year. Okay. Um, el lunes pasado. Last, last month. Last Monday. Last Monday. Last Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday. That's right. Last Monday. El... El fin de pasado. Last weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. Okay. Ahí vamos. So, si se fijan, last y el periodo de tiempo. Now, how do you say, no se puede decir la última, la pasada hora. All right. So, we're going to say an hour ago. An hour ago. Okay. An hour, an hour, hour ago. How do you say dos, hace dos horas? Two hours ago. Um, Two hours ago. Two hours ago. That's right. Two hours ago. Um, hace una semana. Last week. Two week. No, one week ago. One week ago. A week ago. A week ago. Entonces, ya pasamos de la semana pasada. Ok. A hace una semana. Uh, hace tres meses. 
three months, months, months ago. ago. Three months ago. Um, Hace cinco años? Five years ago. Five years ago. Hace dos semanas. Uh, hace dos fines de semana. Two weekends, weekends. Two weekends ago. Okay. Hace tres viernes. No es común, pero. Uh -huh. Friday ago. Three Fridays ago. Three Friday ago. Uh -huh. That's right. So um, this is going to be used as time expressions. Si ustedes ven el last o el ago, significa que ya pasó. Y si digo last Christmas, también. También. Muy bien. So, si ustedes se fijan, Eventos. estamos Eventos. prácticamente este, cambiando las cosas. De el último, estamos haciendo un punto en el pasado. Oh, la lista. Let's take attendance, guys. I almost forget. Everybody ready so we can do this fast? Alba Noemi Cortés de González. No. <laughs> Alba, present teacher. Thank you. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Vicet Canales de Enrique. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Camura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. José Antonio. Present. Thank you. Carla Enet Amaya Zara. Present. Carla Present. María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Luna Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mosa Valdés. Present. Natalia Carolina González. Present, teacher. Juan Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabel Atín Castro. Sabrina. Ella puso que tenía problemas de señal, creo, teacher. Oh, ok. Let me check real quick. No, no había visto el WhatsApp. Ok. So, por motivos de as, eh, asesoría. Asesoría. Ese me olvidó la palabra. Asesoría. Auditoría, thank you very much. So, por motivo de auditoría, de for, la participante Sabrina Mabeletín Castro está presente, pero está teniendo problemas de internet. Continue. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Hey, guys. Perfect attendance, guys. Great job. Asistencia perfecta. One more time. Es la segunda. <laughs> But, you know, thank you very much. Perfect attendance. <laughs> Let's continue, my friends. Everybody with your cameras on, please. Todo el mundo está con la cámara. Half the group is with the cameras on. Teacher, cuando estamos con el celular y vemos los mensajes, se nos desconecta la cámara. I know, pero estamos en la lista. Ahí tiene que tener la puesta. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's continue, my dear fellas. Um, so these, these are phrases. Estas frases, señores, van en el complemento generalmente. Ok. Time expressions are used at the end. Las expresiones de tiempo son usadas al, generalmente al final de la oración. Ok. So, en español nosotros decimos, yo ayer fui con mis cheros a tal lugar. Right? Y se entiende. Yo tal santuchita, la verdad, gramaticalmente, pero se entiende. So, ustedes pueden decir cuándo y todas esas cosas antes de terminar. For example, um, Daisy and Anna, Anna went to the movies last night. Anoche. So if you notice, you have subject, verb, and then to the movies, es el que, last night va al final. All right? La mayor parte del tiempo. So, pay attention to this. You can use it also at the beginning. Last night, comma, Daisy and I and Anna went to the movies. Tienes que poner la coma. So, la expresión de tiempo no importa si estamos ocupando presente, pasado, futuro. Eh, casi siempre va al final de su oración. All right? So, All right. 
real quick, guys, when do we use simple past? Uh, we use simple past to talk about past, 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 past events. Past events. events. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, esto ya fue pasado. Ya dejé pasar tres segundos, ya es pasado. No tiene que ser ayer. Hace cinco minutos. Five, oh, five minutes ago. ago. Ya es pasado. Five One minute ago, ya es pasado. Okay. Now, let's continue with this real quick. Let's do it as a, as a group, guys. What is the question? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Mm -hmm. okay. How do you ask? Disfrutaste del seminario? Uh, yes, did I did. Enjoy. Did you enjoy? Did you did enjoy, enjoy the mm -hmm. seminar? Last month. Ya, yeah, aquí le podríamos poner last month. Muy bien. ¿Conociste nuevas personas? Did you, did you meet did you new you, people? Did you meet new people? Did, did you meet you, new people? New mm -hmm. people. ¿Aprendiste algo? Did you, did you learn, learn, did learn something? Did you learn something? Great job. Learn something? Um... Network, aquí no tendría que ser esto. ¿Cómo podríamos hacer una pregunta para preguntarle algo acerca del network en la convención? Si le gustó o oh. did you mm. like o oh, did you no did you understand network? Okay, so we have the complement in the convention, what question can we ask? Because this is this network is incorrect. Mm -hmm. This is not a verb. So we cannot use it. Interesante? Interesting? Interesting. Mm. And the question? Interesting. Estuvo interesante? Interesting. Pero estuvo interesting. sería el past of B. It's, it's a different structure. Okay. Was it interesting? Pero tenemos que acomodar in the convention. No es fácil, mm. pero tratemos. ¿Y te gustó la convención? ¿Do you like in the convention? No. ¿Pero que te el link? No, no. no ¿Did you, no. Eh, did you have, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Tener una buena conexión en la convención? ¿Did you have a conexión de qué? ¿De internet? Eh, no, que, eh, puede haber sido que los pongan a ver. En las convenciones a veces los ponen a ver videos o, o enlaces o cualquier otra cosa. Okay, so great, I, I accept it. How do we ask? Tuviste una buena conexión en la convención? Did you have a good connection? Did you participate in the convention? Oh, that's another one. Easy, right? Sí, easy. Did you, Did you par participate? participate? Did you participate, participate in the convention? In the convention? Muy bien, yeah. great job. And this one, ¿cambiaste tarjetas de negocio? Did you exchange Did you exchange business cards? Did you exchange business cards? Oops. All right. Now, I wanted to start doing something here, guys. Every time that we answer a yes no question, we are going to give a long answer. So we are going to combine them. Um, for example, did you attend the meeting? Did you attend a seminar last month? Yes. Yes, I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Period. Now give me a comment. Uh, denme un, este, una respuesta después de eso, una respuesta larga. Yes, ¿Qué le podemos poner ahí? Did you attend a seminar last month? Yes, sí. I, I am paying attention. Ah, puse atención. Puse atención. It is not put attention, guys. It is pay attention. Paid. Ajá. Uh -huh. I paid attention. Uh -huh. So, acostúmbrense a esto para que maten dos pájaros de un solo tiro. Two birds, one stone. Hacen la pregunta, yes, I did. Y luego dan más información. Siempre en pasado para que lo practiquen. Next one. 
Did you enjoy the seminar? Answer? Yes, I did. 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 Uh -huh. What else? I like seminars. I like seminars. I like them. Like it. Muy bien, me gustan los seminarios. Estén presentes. Sí se puede, guys. Acuérdense. Una vez ustedes contestan con el ah, one, lo que viene después, I like puede ser lo que sea. So, uh -huh. did you enjoy the I seminar? Like yes, I did. I like it. I like it. Vamos a ponerlo Seven. con más sabor. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Love it. Great. Did you meet new people? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I, I did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I. I, I found it. Life. I found I... found it. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Agradable. ¿A quién? Eh, o sea, encontré personas agradables. O sea, uh -huh. what is the past of meat? Uh, nice. ¿De qué? What is the past of meat? Met. met. I met. Nice people. people. Great. People. Ahí vamos. Excellent. Did you learn something? Yes, I did. Nah, no, don't be a liar. No, you can say no. No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. Tell me something. I... No entendí, no sé. Okay. Good. I, no I, entendí. I... I didn't pay attention. I didn't. Pay attention. Ah, I didn't ah. Excellent. Did you participate in the convention? Mm -hmm. Tell me no. Tell me no, no. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. Come on, you can do this. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Me quedé dormido. Como algunos en I, I, I slept. I fell. 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 I did. I fell. I fell. I o obtuve dos contactos nuevos. I have. I have. I have. Get it. Get it. What is the past of get? Got. got it. I got. I got. Dos contactos nuevos. Two. Two, 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 two new contacts. contacts. New Excellent. Contact. Okay. Very good. So this is what we're going to do right now, guys. Um, but before we continue, is there any question about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Hay que, hay que aprenderse los pasados de los verbos. ¿no? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> hey, yes, guys. You have to learn, you have to memorize verbs. Si no, esto va a ser una tortura. Okay? Now, before we continue, this is what I did, guys. En la época que yo aprendí inglés, literalmente tenía una lista de verbos, a lo old fashion, y esa lista de verbos no quiero sonar no profesional, sé que lo es, pero me gusta hablar con la verdad. Esa lista de verbos yo me la llevaba a todos lados. ¿Ok? Me ponía a escuchar música en el background y me ponía a practicarlos. Eat, ate, eaten. Ah, yo ya sé qué comer. Comer, comí, comido. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Me prendía los tres de un solo. Me la llevaba hasta el baño. Y ahí es donde se me fue lo profesional. Me la llevaba al baño y me salía hasta que ya se me dormían las piernas. Right? So, se lo juro. Neta, güey. Entonces, um, the point is, guys, llévense la lista o hagan lo que tengan que hacer para que se memoricen los verbos every single day. Vocabulary, listening, and speaking daily. Ok? Bueno, digan que no se lo advertí. So, my friend, this is what you're going to do right now. You are going to answer. You're going to pretend. Pretend you went to a business meeting, a conference, and you will answer these same questions with your own information. ¿Ok? Estas mismas preguntas con su propia información. Primero con yes, no answers y luego me agregan más información. ¿Any questions? Ok. Hey, guys, don't be sad. You, you wanted to practice, right? So, <laughs> go ahead and accept the invite. Any question, please. Let, mm, I gotta make a change here. Any question, please. 
let me know. All right, my friends. Oh, just a second. I got for no, it's it's okay. Go for it. We have 15 minutes for this. Go, 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 go. 15 minutes. Go for it. Desde U. Desde la okay. Ok. Eh, eh, son las mismas preguntas que acabamos de ver. Did you enjoy the seminar? I'll be right back, guys. Ya se eso. Ok. Eh, Ryan, pregunto. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I. ¿Cómo puedo, ¿Cómo puedo decir? I. I didn't. Recibí. No. ¿Cómo puedo decir? Yo no recibo seminario. I didn't. <risa> Pero si, si, si es negativa la primera, ya no le vamos a poder preguntar las otras que sí. Uh -huh. Ah, de veras. <risa> no, pero. Pero puedo responderlas. Puedo mentir para poder practicar. Okay. Miente, entonces. Uh, entonces, mejor digo, yes, I didn't. Yes, I did, perdón. Ok. ¿Y algo más? Ay. I... I... No sé cómo decir. Um, I... En lo que la pensás, le voy Hola, a preguntar a, a, a Natalia. Vaya, Nata, do you attend to a seminar last month? Nata. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Hola, hola. Yes, yes, Natalia. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Hola. Natalia, hola. ¿me escucha? Reinicien el inter. Reinicien el inter, no sé si esos no. Reinicienlo, hija. Ok, eh, Miguel, eh, un pregunto. Pregunta, Miguel. Hola. Sí, 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 sí. Ok. Uh, did you attend to a seminar last month? Did yes, you I attend did. a seminar? Did you attend to a seminar no, last no. month? No, too. Uh, yes, I did. I received uh, two seminars. Okay. Received. Mm -hmm. Received two seminars last, last month. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Pregúntame okay. a mí esa misma, pues. Ok, bueno. Good, more movement, guys. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Yes, I did. I was asleep. Ok, good. Carla, did you attend to a seminar last month? Guys, ¿Ves? quitémosle el to. No es necesario. Did you attend uh, a seminar? A seminar, ah, ok. Pero una pregunta, ¿lo puede llevar y no lo puede llevar? Las dos son correctas. Yo no lo ocupara, no es necesario. Ah, okay. Ajá, es que yo lo, lo, lo copié así de, de entonces. Uh -huh. Ahí está en el libro, pero. You know. Ajá. Mm. Ah, ok. Entonces la tacho. Ok, listo, ya la taché. Sigamos. Natalia, um, sí le escuchamos. No sé qué le pasó. Bueno, si quieres preguntarle a, a Carla, Miguel. Ya, yeah, try to keep it moving, guys. Okay, Carla, la, la primera. Did you attend to seminar last month? A seminar. A seminar last month. Um, a seminar. Ah, el tú es el que vamos a quitar. Uh -huh. Yo uh -huh. quité la. I'm sorry. 
¿Por qué, teacher? It's not needed. Uh, Why? No se necesita. No sé por qué está en el libro. Ah, uh, ok. Entonces sería, did you, did you attend a seminar last month? Did you attend a seminar? Attend. Mm -hmm. A seminar, ok. I, yes, I did. I... Mm, es que como no recibo no puedo mentir eh. that, that's good that you cannot lie está muy bien Ay. es que no me puedo los verbos en pasado eh. ayúdame ajá, ¿qué, ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué es lo que, que quieres decir ajá decirnos uh -huh. tu idea vaya este que Sí, o sea, hay que lo recibo, pero es parecida a la de Miguel prácticamente. No, pero tu idea cuál es? O sea, sí lo recibí, pero ¿qué? Ah, um, puedo decir que me gustan en esa pregunta. Ay. Me gustó. Ajá. Para mantenerlo en pasado. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Sería entonces, yes, I did, I like it, I like it. I like it. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Seminars. No, not necessarily because you already mentioned it. Ya lo mencionaste. Ah, ok. Y el contexto se Sería. sabe que estás hablando del seminario. Yes, I did, I like it. I liked it. I liked it. Yes. All right, good job. Continue. Any question? Let me know. Let me check another group. Great job. Okay. Second question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Una con yes, una con no. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. Bye. Disfrutamos el seminario, sí. Pero hay que ponerle un complemento más largo. Mm. Yes. Sería... Podemos decir, eh, la organización estuvo bien. The organization was good. Yep. Oh, awesome. Was, oh. was awesome, was great. Was great. Pero ya ocupamos el was, ya ocupamos, queremos otro verbo. Mm. Ok, so then surprise each other. Sorpréndanse. Sí, eso estamos viendo que un, algo otra cosa que podemos decir en un seminario, la organización estuvo bien, la decoración, no, es que lo vamos a lo mismo, si hablamos de cosas. Ajá. Eh, el, ¿cómo es? ¿Cómo puedo decir? Est, est, estuvo bien organizado, no sé. Mm, siempre vamos con el was. Vamos con lo mismo, con el was, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. It was well organized. Yeah. Eh, llegaron llegaron eh, llegaron buenos ponentes ¿cómo se dice ponentes en inglés? Um, spokesman A spokesman, ok, mm -hmm. okay. llegar I got quiero ver I got llegar arrive uh, arrive, ajá, uh, arrive aquí está, arrive ese no lo... ¿cómo se me pudo ir ese? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I arrive pero es, es ar, arriba, creo que lo borré sin querer. Arrived, bueno. arrived. Es un, ah, es que es regular, ¿verdad? Yep. Ah, pues aquí lo tengo en otra pestaña. Okay. De hecho, sí, aquí está. <ríe> aquí está, arrived, arrived. Right. Por eso eh, yo lo estaba buscando, no es irregular. Démosle, yeah. guys, try to practice as much right. as you can. Eh, ataquemos, ataquemos más la estructura. Take advantage oh. of time. Ok. Yes, yes I did. Eh, I write responsible. I write it. Uh, spoke uh, good. Uh, sería good. I spoke. I spoke. Good spokesman arrived. Ah, good spokesman arrived. Good spoke. I spoke is a clear. The spoke is man. Uh huh. Arrived. Arrived. Okay. Vamos con la tercera. Ok, veamos la tercera. Mm -hmm. Esa es la que estaba diciendo. Mm -hmm. Did you meet new people? Did you meet... Mm -hmm. 
Did you submit new paper? Yes, I did. Ah, uh, en negativa nos faltó eso. Ah, es cierto, nos faltó una negativa. No, hagamos primero las positivas y después vamos a la negativa. All right, go for it, guys. Any question? Let me know. Ataquen un poquito más. I know you're doing your best. Okay. Uh, you see? ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo? En la cuatro. Did you to see? Did you to no, see? No, two. Eliminate two. Did you see? Did you see? Did you see, did you <clears throat> see something? Something? Did you see something? Yes, I did. No, I did it. See something. I saw something. And the other one. I saw something. In the conversation. Uh, the conversation. Did you eat in the convention? Podría <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> El, lo más importante. Did you eat? Did you eat? Yes, I eat. I eat in the convention. I eat or I ate? I ate. Mm -hmm. That's an irregular verb. I eat. I eat bocadillos. <laughs> uh huh. Snacks. Yep. I eat the snacks. Um, snacks. In the uh, Did you entregaste? Uh, ejercicio? That please. Did you give business card? Did you give? Did you grow? Did you give? Did you grow? Did you grow? Business card? Or did you? Did you? Que si traje o como sería? O recolecté? You can use the same verb, exchange, intercambiar. Ajá. Siempre sería lo mismo. Sí. Si pedí. Yes, the request. Exchange business card. Lo I mismo. don't have it. I didn't. No, I didn't. All right, you're doing sí. great, guys. Entrega. I don't have a business card. Okay. Uh -huh. No te tengo aquí. Ah. Eh, solo tiene que ver con el trabajo. Y ahorita sí. Ah, y en este caso que hicimos, eh, por ejemplo, este, Did you enjoy your lunch break? Lo dejamos así o lo podemos hacer, Did you enjoy your lunch break today? Yeah. Okay. Porque igual es pasado. Yes. I mean, um, yeah, I would prefer, preferiría que ocuparan las, las preguntas que ya están ahí, porque ya vamos a cambiar a algo más personal, más mundano. Pero ahorita para cumplir con la carta didáctica, estamos haciéndolo así. Ok. Pues es break. Bueno, otra. Um. Yes, I did. Uh, la... Ah, sí, yes, I did. Y hay que ir a ver. Again. Eh, Repeat. Uh, yes, I did. 
y agregamos algo siempre. Uh -huh. Así practican las respuestas sí o no y las oraciones también. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. That's the purpose. Hidden es el pasado. Pasado de comer. Eight. 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 El, it is the second column. The third column, la tercera, es para los tiempos. Es que yo, te, yo tengo esta lista, mi teacher, pero no sé cuál es. El... Uh, no veo. Ya, la segunda columna. Casi siempre uh -huh. va en la segunda columna. Eh, past ah, tense. Uh -huh. Dice, past, base form, past tense, past uh -huh. participle. Yeah. So it is the second column, la segunda. Past, past tense. Yeah. Ok. Say eight. Do you have any question on how to create these questions? Tienen alguna pregunta en cómo crear estas preguntas? No. 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 All right. Any, any question? Let me know. Guys, no solo las creen. Pregúntense. Sí. Okay. All right. Great. Let me check another group. Great job. Y estaba estaba con Ale. Ella me enseñaba. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wanna hear you? Yeah. Finish, teacher. Finish. There's no finish on this thing. If you finish, you do it again and again and again. Porque okay. si you finish, ustedes van a ser las primeras en pasar. Right? <laughs> so, no se acerca de solo completar el task, sino practicarlo. Okay, okay. Uh, comencemos entonces. Let's start. Miriam. <laughs> okay, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I arrived early. Okay. Did you meet new people? No, I didn't. I went. I went with my co-workers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you learn something? Learn? Yes, I learn something. Something. Nice, good, Mire. <laughs> yes, I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Nice. Did you participate in the convention? No, I didn't. I felt Shy. Okay. Did you enter business cars? Business? Yes, I did. Business, business car. Uh -huh. car. Yes, I did. I had a meeting with, with they. Them. Thank you. Them. With them. Uh, them. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. With mm -hmm. them. Excellent. All right, um, ask Claudia too, all right? Carla, tú le preguntas a Claudia, Claudia, tú le preguntas a mí. Hey, hey, Claudia, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I am a real fairly. Um, quítale la am. Solo puede ir un verbo, ahí tiene dos. Tiene I, to be. I arrived no. early. Uh -huh. I have arrived Early. Uh -huh. Dele conmigo, Claudia. Mm -hmm. I arrived. I arrived. Arrived. D. Es como la B chica y luego la D. I arrived. I arrived. I arrived. Mejor. Mm -hmm. I arrived early. Excellent. All right. Keep it up. Let me check the last group. Ok, las practicamos entonces. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Vamos, eh, te pregunto a ti, William, y William a Sandra. Let me ask you, William, and you ask Sandra. Come on, try it in English. Let me ask William and you are Sandra. And you ask Sandra. Ask. 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 
at at mm -hmm. teacher okay eh, el pasado de enseñar cómo se pronuncia ahí si sí tengo traba taught 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 she taught me how to dance taught y con una pequeña T al final. No la soltes, no es tot, sino que that's a held sound, sonido sostenido. Tot. Ah, ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, Ana María. Ok. William, did you attend to a seminar last month? Yes, I did. I attend the logistics seminar. Did you enjoy the seminars? Yes, I did. It was interesting and the way they taught, taught it. Yep. Okay. Did you meet new people? Yes, I did. I met Raul. Now he is my friend. Did you learn something? Something. Something. Yes, I did. did. I learned about processed. Teacher, I don't know how to say that word. Processes. This is processes. Ah, pro I learned about processes in companies. Did you participate <laughs> in the convention? Yes, I did. I asked some questions to the exponents. Did you exchange business cards? Yes, I did. I ex ex exchanged five business cards. Okay. Oh, yeah, Sandra. Did, uh, you ask Sandra? did you attend to a seminar last month? Sandra. Sorry, eh, tuve problemas con la conexión. Eh, ¿Podría repetir, porfa? Por favor. Ok. Could you repeat, please? Do you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Yes, I did. I attended to the seminar. Seminar. Did you enjoy the seminar? All right, guys. So we are all back. I need two volunteers real quick, please. Gane de Ana. Ya sabía. Buena, de Ana María. Okay. Dele, si no le ganan, usted siga le dando. Ajá. I need another volunteer, please. Al que más le cueste, guys. A mí me mm. cuesta, yo, Daisy. Dale. Go for it. Okay, Ana María, did, um, did you attend a seminar last month? Yes, I did. I took many pictures. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I liked the them. Did you meet new people? Yes, I did. I meet people from San Miguel. Met. I met people from San Miguel. Met. Did you learn some something? Something. Something. Yes, I did. I learned to use the CF program. Did you participate in the conversation conven, convention? Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I participated. Participated. I participated, I participated with a question. Did you exchange business card? No, I didn't. I retired early to sleep. Okay. Okay. Great. Good job. 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 Now, um, thank you. Guys, do you have a question about this so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de esto? 
Solo que me tengo que aprender los verbos en pasado. Yep, that's right. You gotta memorize verbs, guys. Every single day. Los tres de un solo, porque cuando lleguemos a present perfect, ahí vamos a ocupar la tercera columna. Okay? okay. So, um, let me ask you something, guys. When do we use simple past? When do you use simple, simple past? Yep. We, we, we use simple past plus to talk, talk about, about past, past events. Past, past events. events. That's right. That's right. What is the difference between the structure of simple present and simple past? Auxiliary. 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 We use the auxiliary did, exactly. Yeah. And what happens to the verb? In other case, verb in past. Uh-huh. Now, this one, we can, we can uh, <clears throat> have it like this. If it's an affirmative sentence, verb in past. Solo en las afirmativas vamos a ocupar el verbo en pasado. Affirmative sentences, verb in past. Questions. And negative, base form. Verb base. Why? Why? Uh, okay, auxiliary. We use for the auxiliary. Because the auxiliary, correct. Okay. That's Very the... good, guys. So um, let me ask you a couple of things right now. Just a second. Um, bye, guys. En tres minutos antes de la lista, quiero ver las personas que van a estar ahora en las sessions. Just a moment. Uh -huh. Sorry, my phone is messing up with me. Okay, so Sabrina Mabel no puede atender. Tiene problemas de internet. ¿Quién quiere tomar su lugar? De 10 a 10 y 10. Me, teacher. Demole, right? Pero, Thank yo, you. Lo puedo cambiar antes. O sea, yo voy después. Lo puedo hacer de... Ah. Ay, quiere dormir más temprano. Qué bárbaro. Ok. Um, <laughs> qué bárbaro. No, I know you're, you're tired. Um, ok, so, 10 y 10, 10 y 20, René Alfonso. ¿Quién quiere tomar de 10 y 20 a 10 y 30? Me. Thank you, Claudia. So... No, 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 perdón. De 10 y 10 a 10 y 20. 10, 10 to 10, 20. All right. Um, Miriam, Carolina, can you take it? No puedo ahora, teacher. Qué barbaridad. Okay, who wants to take her spot? No es opcional, alguien lo tiene que cubrir. So, who's going to do it? Take one for the team. Mm -hmm. Come on, I need people to sacrifice. No, sacrifice es por su propio bien, hombre. No se puede repetir la sesión. Claro que se puede. Entonces póngame a mí, si nadie la va a agarrar, y déjeme siempre la de las 10.50. Está bien, 10.20, 10.30, anótelo, Nasta. Lo siento, teacher, estoy súper ocupadísima en okay. periodo de estimación. No hay problema, está? qué barbaridad. Ok, 10.30, 10.40. Mi teacher. Claudia, uh, uh, otra vez, repeat it to you. And Fernando Ernesto? Yes. Vamos, yes. ok, perfect, guys. We'll be there. So, um, acuérdense, ya tienen todos el link para meterse. Está en el email. Yes, yes. Métanse exactamente a la hora que les toque, por favor. Para no afectar yes. los 10 minutos de la persona. 10, okay. 40, 10, 50, soy el último, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah, that's right. So, um, let me go ahead and take attendance. Everybody, please, with you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Y no lo podemos intercambiar para que se tenga mejor bien solo los 20 minutos. Um, me voy a enchivolar, ¿no? Ahora sí. Vale, ok. Ok, I'm just being honest, guys. Démosle, guys. Alba Noemí Cortés de González. Alba Noemí. Pre present. Thank you. Ana María Chicón de García. Present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Liz Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. <coughs> Sorry, guys. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. 
Miguel Ángel Paz Londa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Naftale Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Don Alfonso. Present. Thanks. Dona María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabela Tincastro. Not present. Por motivos de auditoría, la participante Sabrina Mabela Tincastro estuvo presente, pero tiene problemas de conexión. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. <clears throat> present. All right. Thank you very much, guys. So um, this is what we're going to do today. Um, I wanted to talk about your last trip. Okay. Uh, ya cumplimos con la carta didáctica. Ahora vamos a hablar de la vida real. Quiero que hablen de su último viaje a la playa, a la montaña, a un pueblito, al centro, lo que sea. Okay? And I want you to ask yourself questions. Okay? Hey, guys, vamos a empezar así. I went to. Repeat with me, please. I went to. 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 So um, let me tell you, I went to. Uh, I went to a museum. Fui a un museo. What questions can you ask me? What did you see? Good. That's a WH question. Excellent. Ask me yes, no questions. Uh, uh, did you like the museum? Oh, yes, I did. I loved it. I saw... The Mona Lisa. Mm. Right? Ask me more questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you Did learn you... something about Mona Lisa? Nice. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, solo, I just saw it and enjoyed the moment. Right? Ah. So this is what I wanted to do, guys. Así estamos, uh, I'm fostering, estoy como promoviendo que ustedes salgan de su zona de confort, háganle un par de preguntas a cada uno, como dos, tres preguntas, y pasamos a la siguiente persona. So, la idea es que hagan yes, no questions, contesten sí o no, y luego una oración más. Matamos dos pájaros de un solo tiro. Okay? Um, y necesito que en cuanto caigamos a la sección, ataquen directamente. No. ¿Y qué pregunto? ¿Y qué no sé qué? Lo primero que les venga a la mente. Y desenvuélvase con eso. All right? Great. Accept the invite and uh, I'm going to be visiting. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me. Yo tengo una duda. ¿Cómo se dice cerro? O sea, como montaña y eso. Um, depends. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hill is como un, un cerrito. Then you got mountain, which is like you go, I don't know, to el boquerón. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Es que estaba pensando como en lo último que hice y fue escalar un cerro, entonces por eso le pregunté. Ok, great. You see, real life example. Go for it, guys. Any question, you let me know. Daisy, who's your group? Hi. Who is your group? ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Eh, eh, Natalia, Carla, Miguel. Ok. Natalia, Carla, Miguel. So it's number one. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Um, I went to Apanek City. I went to Apanek. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué me van a preguntar si yo fui a Apanek? I went to Apanek City. Did you meet a Albania's cafe? Albania's coffee? Mm -hmm. Did you did, did you go to Fuiste? Did you go to Albania's cafe? Come on guys. Go Albanes Cafe. Uh -huh. Did you go to Albanes Cafe? Uh -huh. Did you did you did you eh, entrar? Did Depends you... context. 
¿Entraste al laberinto? Did you go to the maze? Did you go to... ¿Cómo se escribe el laberinto, teacher? Maze. M-A-Z-E. N A Z E. Okay. Alright, guys. Si eh, Ana María, si usted ve que ellos no saben de Apaneca, obviamente tienen que saber para hacerle preguntas. Usted tire de algo. Mm -hmm. okay? ok. Como hizo con el café, como hizo con el maíz. Remember, guys, let me check another group. I need you to work harder. I know you can do it. Go for it. Okay. And the, no. I went with my sister. I went with my sister. How she said it. Sir, did you go along? It's yes. correct. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Otra pregunta? Another? Did you... Did you like fish? Yes, I did. I me broncié. I got tanned. I got tanned. I got tanned. Mm -hmm. I got tanned. Ah, okay. I got tanned. Yes, I did. I got tanned. Mm -hmm. eh, Claudia Ajá, ya ajá, hoy Tú, Claudia I, I went to the Pital de last month I went to El Pital Last ah, month, sí. great eh, Did you enjoy the tweet? Mm. Is there, um, yes, I did or no, I don't. Yes, I didn't. yes, yes, I, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And then, I, then, yes, I did. Y ahora qué hizo? Did, did, um, este, si no sabe cómo decirlo, apoya a sus compañeros. Paste. How do you ask that? Yes. ¿Cómo le preguntan eso? ¿Cómo, teacher? ¿Acampaste? Did you come? Did you come? Yeah. Did you come? Oh, come. Or did you do camping? Come. No, mm -hmm. did you come? Did you come? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 I come. Uh, yes, I did come. My yes, family. I did. Yes, yes, I did. I, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I come. I come. My family. With my with, family. With my family. Mm -hmm. Come, family. Mm -hmm. Great job. Let me check another Bye. one. Mira, quiero ver otra pregunta. Podría ser. Um... Quiero ver. Ejemplo, eh, I want to play soccer sí. on the weekend. Did you enjoy play soccer? Eh, I want to play soccer uh -huh. at the end of the weekend. Did you enjoy Did you enjoy play soccer? Did you enjoy playing play soccer? Play soccer, play, uh -huh. play soccer. In this case, it's going to be. Um, real quick, no tiene nada que ver con la clase, pero sí con el verbo que tú estás ocupando. El verbo enjoy siempre tiene que ir seguido de gerundio. Ok, so si tú ocupas play, did you enjoy playing? Did you enjoy eating? Did you enjoy sleeping? 
Siempre el verbo enjoy tiene que ir seguido de un gerundio. Enjoy soccer, no. Enjoy playing soccer. Playing. Uh -huh. Did you enjoy dancing? O sea, cualquier cosa que tú, cualquier acción que tú pongas después de enjoy tiene que ir con ing. ¿Cómo, cómo? Cualquier acción que tú pongas después de enjoy tiene que ir con ing. Um, es una regla, de hecho. Ya. Yeah. Hay, hay verbos que solo, como les mencioné antes, hay verbos que solo van seguidos de gerundio, hay verbos que solo van seguidos de infinitivo, y enjoy es uno de estos, que solo puede ir seguido de un gerundio. Um, Okay. Bien. Otra. Uh, I went to. Uh, I went to. Saben por qué son las pausas. Lo están haciendo bien porque me demuestran que están tratando. Eso simplemente es fal falta de vocabulario. Eso es todo. Y no se sientan mal por ello, pero ya saben que tienen que obtener más vocabulario. Y con eso va a estar todo bien. Te lo prometo. All right, great job. Um, let me see how long do we have. Let's go back, guys, to the main room. I went to Okay, so people is going to start coming back. They got 25 seconds. All right, from the from the people I have right now, Carla, Claudia, uh, Natalia, uh, Miriam, sorry. Do you have any questions about this structure? Tienen alguna pregunta de la estructura? Any questions? Yes, no, maybe, why? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, man. why question? Okay, so, let's see, everybody's here. Okay, guys, um, I have a question. A quienes de ustedes se les dificultó crear las preguntas? Me, Daisy. Me, Katherine. Por... Me, Vanny. Ahí está, muy bien. Mi Natalia. Se les dificultó, ¿por qué creen ustedes? ¿Porque no Carlos. entendieron la estructura o porque no sabían qué vocabulario ocupar? ¿Qué vocabulario ocupar? En, en mi caso es por los verbos. Yo cuando empecé a ver verbos se me ocurrieron cosas, pero como no me podía bien los verbos. Exacto. So, guys, yo les voy a dar una, mi última recomendación. Me gustan las últimas recomendaciones. Cuando estén trabajando con esto, no traten de salir con el ejemplo de un solo. ¿Ok? Así como mencionó Fernando. Busquen un verbo y la imaginación los va a llevar al complemento. ¿Ok? Pero tengan una base que seguir. ¿Ok? So, si ustedes tienen, por ejemplo, no sé, les estoy pidiendo que hagan oraciones. Primero el sujeto. El primero. Chepito. A Chepito. Verbo en pasado. Denme un verbo, por favor. Al primero. First, first. Like this. Quick, quick. Draw. Uh, draw, Drew, en pasado. Uh, Chepito, Drew, draw. ¿qué dibujó? Gracias. A picture. A, um, draw, a car. A, a, a car, ok, good. Chepito dibujó un vehículo. ¿Cuándo en sus cinco sentidos les iba a salir esa oración? Pero si lo van haciendo... Pedacito por pedacito va a ser un poquito más fácil. So, guys, um, if, um, as soon as we come back tomorrow, we will continue with the past tense. Oh, I have allergy. Sorry. Siempre que cuando regresemos mañana, vamos a darle con todo al past tense. No se preocupen, es normal, pero ahora ustedes ya saben que tienen que ver verbos diarios. Y ocupen cosas que van a ocupar, no de incinerar. Ahorita no van a ocupar incinerar, el verbo incinerar. Okay? Cosas de su vida diaria. 
dónde fueron, qué hice, etc. So guys, thank you very much. Let's go to the breakout rooms and for the rest of you, great job. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Thank you, teacher. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow.